Andy Katz here for NCAA.com in March Madness with my top 12 coaching hires in men's college basketball this past offseason. Let's start at number 12. Kevin Kruger going to UNLV. Played for his father, Lon, at UNLV. He's consistently good. He's won wherever he was. They won when his father was the head coach. I think Kevin can get it done as well. At number 11, Tim Miles, San Jose State. Let's stay in the Mountain West Conference. And Miles will make San Jose State relevant. He's an expert. He's good with the media. San Jose State needs that. He can get talent from all over the globe. He will win at San Jose State. I love this hire. Number 10, Speedy Claxon, Hofstra. Who else are you going to get? Their most famous player ever, probably. He's ready for this job to make Hofstra relevant in the CAA. And number nine, Kim English, George Mason. He's primed for this kind of a job. Apprenticeship at Tennessee under Rick Barnes. Played at Mizzou and the Pistons. He connects with today's player. He's passionate. He understands it. He's ready to win and make George Mason a contender in the A-10. And number eight, Craig Smith, Utah. Coming over from Logan, Utah State, where he was a consistent winner in the Mountain West Conference. Not easy to do at Utah State. To Utah, where I think he'll be consistently good in the Pac-12. That's what they want at Utah. Number seven, Richard Pertino, New Mexico. I love this hire. The Lobos bleed Lobo basketball on campus, in the state of New Mexico, all the fans. They absolutely love Lobo basketball. Richard Pitino is the right hire. He's an extrovert. He'll be good with the media. He's transparent. He'll tell it like it is. He'll get talent. Already brought in Jamal Mashburn Jr. down from Minnesota. I think the Lobo fan base will love Richard Pitino. Number six. Tommy Lloyd, Arizona. It was the only job he was going to leave Gonzaga for. Great fan base, rocking arena. He can recruit all over the globe. He'll do the same at Arizona. May not be this year, but Arizona will contend in the Pac-12 under Tommy Lloyd. And number five, Shaka Smart. He thrives at a basketball-centric school. We saw that at VCU. He's from the state of Wisconsin. This one makes sense. It may not happen in year one, but he will contend in that top tier in the Big East. At number four, Mike Woodson, Indiana. I love this hire now. At the beginning, I kind of want to wait and see. You know what? Mike Woodson has done everything right. Coming over from the NBA, from the Bob Knight era, he's married all generations of Indiana fans. Brings in Dane Fife, who played for Bob Knight and Mike Davis. He re-recruits Trace Jackson Davis. The core of the team is back. They take a trip to the Bahamas. Very successful. Mike Woodson has made the right moves to make sure Indiana is a contender in the Big Ten. And number three, Porter Mosier, Oklahoma. Very similar to Lon Kruger. Defensive-minded. He learned from the late, great Rick Majerus. I'm going to take your best player away from you. But I thought Porter would go to DePaul, Marquette, maybe a Big Ten school if it opened. But you know what? He will win at Oklahoma this season in the Big 12. And number two, Hubert Davis from North Carolina leads Carolina Blue. He will consistently recruit the best players in the country. He'll connect the NBA alums, and there are plenty of them with Carolina connections, to today's player. He was ready for this. A little surprise Roy Williams decided this spring, or they had a national search, but there was only one name. One seat over, Hubert Davis. But at number one in this cycle, for me, it's Chris Beard. Former walk-on at Texas under Tom Penders. Texas Tech to Texas. It just makes sense. He's done a tremendous job with the transfer portal this offseason. They're going to be a contender for the national title in year one. And so tournament-wise, he's always won. Texas lost to Abilene Christian in the first round. I don't see something like that happening with Chris Beard leading this Texas Longhorn team and program. Great staff. He's doing everything right. It was the biggest no-brainer in this coaching carousel. Texas got it done. Chris Beard, without question for me, the number one hire in men's college basketball in this offseason.